my channel. So today I am going to be doing a quick, easy dish today. I'm going to be making tinga. So for those of you that don't know, it's shredded beef with chipotle sauce. So that's one of the easiest um, tostada, tostadas um, toppings that I do love to eat. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm actually at my parents' house, so I'm going to show you guys. I'm not in my normal kitchen, uh, as you guys can see from the background. But um, it has amazing lighting, so it's great. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So for the ingredients, you're going to need about four chicken breasts. Uh, you're going to also need an onion, an, a garlic clove, four tomatoes, two chipotle peppers um, sauce, lettuce, tostadas, and you're also going to need cotija cheese, you whatever you prefer, and also sour cream. So these are pretty much it for the ingredients. Not in my uh, usual setting today, so I am um, just trying to figure everything out. But pretty much what you're gonna get started first is you're gonna go ahead and add the chicken breast to the uh, pot. So you're gonna go ahead and add it, just so they can start boiling, just like that. Perfect. And now you're just gonna go ahead and also add the onion. So you do go ahead and add, whoa, you do go ahead and you're gonna add half of the onion that um, I mentioned in the ingredients. So you're just gonna go ahead. So this is how it's gonna look. So you're gonna have your four chicken breasts and your onion, and then you're just gonna go ahead and add salt. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my left hand. And then you just let it boil for up to maybe to 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how fast your chicken is. And I'll show you guys once it's ready. So in a different pot, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add your four tomatoes. And you're going to go ahead and add it on to a small pot like this just to let that boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'll go ahead and show you guys how they're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and chop up our lettuce. And we're going to make it really fine just so you can go ahead and top it off to your tostada. Our next step is going to be making the chipotle sauce so pretty much for the chipotle sauce what you want to do is you want to go ahead and have uh, your blender and your four tomatoes that they're gonna be looking like this they're really soft already so you just want to go ahead and put your tomatoes in there Clean this up here I don't want to make it super spicy so I'm first gonna do the test I'm gonna test it out and see how it is so I'm just gonna add Maybe like that much of peppers, like half of it. And then you guys can do the taste test and see if it's too spicy. And then from the own chicken broth that I took out some of from the from the pot, I am gonna go ahead and add some of it in there, just like that. Maybe like two. And we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic and just cover it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the test taste. The test taste and see if um how spicy it is if it needs salt or anything mm. oh it's spicy so one and a half of chipotle is good obviously if you want it more spicier than what you have then that's up to you if you just want to add one but you really just you do need the chipotle to give it a flavor so once your chicken looks like this you want to go ahead and um Take it, remove it out, and that's when we're going to start shredding it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it.
now that we shredded our chicken and it's all ready, now we're, their next step is going to be finishing up using the rest of the onion. And we're going to go ahead and chop it off. Chop it up. Uh, really fine slices. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So pretty much, this is what you want to go ahead and do. Really thin slices. Once you put your oil into the pot, you want to go ahead and add your onion. So you just want to go ahead and add it. And this is how fine it's supposed to look. I'm just going to put it in. Just like that. And you want to cook this until it's nice and glazed. So you want to kind of just stir that up a little bit. Maybe leave that in there for up to maybe like five minutes. So once it, five minutes have passed, you want to go ahead and now get started on adding your chicken. So you want to go ahead and add your chicken to your pot just like this. prepare my tinga so you guys can kind of have an idea of what ingredients to add on your tinga definitely you can add any topping you like but this is pretty much what I do so come on over video on how to make finga so don't forget to subscribe like and comment and here is my finga so hope you guys enjoyed this video